Assalamu alaikum welcome to Pharma Inform if you are working in a pharmaceutical industry and you are facing a problem of tablet capping or lamination during the tablet compression process what will you do to resolve it and if you are facing the issue of tablets sticking and picking how you will resolve the issue if your desired hardness is not achieved or you are facing the issue of weight variation what are the measures by following those measures you can overcome the issue and if you are observing black particles on your tablet what will you do to resolve the issue of black particles and if your flow from hopper is not smooth what will you do to overcome this issue hello everyone i am sajad and you are watching pharma inform today we will discuss most commonly observed defects during the tablet compression process in this video we not only discuss the defects but we will also discuss their reasons and their solution so if you are a fresher this video will be very helpful and if you are an experienced person this video will also add some knowledge to your experience so let's start our video the most common problems which are observed during tablet compression are capping lamination sticking picking weight variation hardness problem friability problem rat holing double impression and black particle so what is tablet capping and lamination what are the reasons of capping and lamination one of the most important point is that in this video we will discuss all the issues related to the formulation and related to the machine as well mean we will discuss the reasons of formulation for the defect and we will also discuss the machine related reasons of the defect and discuss their solution so start from capping and lamination what is capping tablet capping is a most commonly observed compression defect and it is defined as the tablet compression defect where crown edges of the tablet are broken down is known as capping what is the lamination lamination is a tablet compression defect where our tablet separates into the layers what are the reasons of capping and lamination first we will discuss formulation related reasons of the capping and lamination so the formulation related reasons are less amount of binder if our formulation contain less amount of binder our binding of granules will be weak and capping or lamination will be observed what will we do to overcome this issue we will increase the amount of binder at the granulation stage the next may be the more amount of fine if there is more concentration of fine in our formulation it will result in the capping or lamination problem so maintain a optimum ratio of granules and fine powder next one is the large size granules if our formulation contain large size granules and there is no fine then it will impact the dye filling mean there will be improper dye filling and it will result in tablet capping and lamination so always use a right sieve for the dry sieving of your granules to get the desired size of granules the next reason is the less amount of moisture content many of us are only familiar with this reason of moisture content related to the tablet capping and lamination if our granules have less moisture content mean our granules are over dried the issue of capping and lamination is observed to resolve the issue we moisten our granules or simply we apply the moisture to our granules if you want to learn how we apply the moisture to our granules mention in the comment box i will record a separate video on this topic the next one is the lubricants lubricants affect tablet capping and lamination in two ways mean its concentration and mixing time if lubricant concentration is very high it will result in tablet capping and lamination and if lubrication mixing time or blending time is high it will result in capping and lamination as a solution use optimum concentration of your lubricant and also use 3 to 5 minute blending time with lubricant i will record a separate video on the root cause of the effect of lubricant on capping and lamination all these are related to the formulation mean formulation related issues which can result in tablet capping and lamination are 
less amount of binder, more fine, large granule size, less moisture content and concentration of lubricant and mixing time of lubricant. Now we will discuss machine related issues to the tablet capping and lamination and first related to the compression machine tooling. If you are using deep concave shape punches, it will result in tablet capping. So try to avoid the use of deep concave punches to overcome the tablet capping issue. Next one is the worn out dies. If our dies are worn out or very old, it will result in tablet capping or lamination. Try to use a new tooling set. Next one is the very high pressure. If we are applying a very high pressure or our tablet hardness is very high, it will result in tablet capping and lamination. Try to reduce the compression machine pressure or reduce the hardness. The next one is increase machine speed. If our machine speed is very high, it will result in tablet capping and lamination depending upon the formulation nature. So if you are facing the issue of tablet capping or lamination, try to reduce the compression machine speed. One of the most important point is that whenever you observe the issue of tablet capping and lamination or any type of tablet compression defect, first of all, we try to resolve the tablet compression machine related issues. And if our issues are not resolved by the resolving issues of compression machine, then we will focus towards the formulation related issues. Then next one is the less dwell time. Less dwell time also result in tablet capping and lamination. So increase the dwell time by using rota heads or dome shape punches. Air entrapment is the main root cause of tablet capping and lamination. So by using taper dies and pre-compression rollers, we can overcome tablet capping and lamination swipe of blade if swipe of blade position is not adjusted properly it may result in tablet capping so try to adjust the compression machine swipe of blade properly to overcome this issue the next effect is the tablet sticking and picking what is the tablet sticking tablet sticking is a compression defect where our powder or granules stick to the die wall or over the flat surface of the punches what is the tablet picking? Tablet picking is a fact where our powder or granules are picked by the embossing or letters on the face of the compression machine punches. So what are the reasons of sticking and picking? First we will discuss the formulation related issues. High moisture content. If we have high moisture content in our granules, it will result in sticking and picking. So try to reduce the moisture content or dry properly the granules to overcome the issue of sticking and picking. If our formulation contain more fine, it will result in sticking and picking because more fine tend to blow when our tablet is compressed and it stick to the neck of the punches instead of adherence with the tablet so try to maintain a proper ratio between fine powder and granules next one is the hygroscopic materials if our formulation contains some hygroscopic materials it will result in sticking and picking try to avoid the use of hygroscopic material in our formulation next one is case hardening case hardening case hardening also result in sticking and picking the link of video related to the case hardening is provided in description must watch the video less lubricant if the amount of lubricant is less in our formulation it will result in sticking and picking these are the formulation related now the machine related issues if our punches have rough surface or the chromium coating on the punch surface is damaged it will result in sticking and picking always use properly coated punches next one is the rough die bore if our die bore is rough, it will result in sticking and picking. So try to replace the worn out dies or rough dies with the new one. Next one is low compression pressure. Sticking and picking is also observed due to less compression pressure by applying more pressure. The issue of sticking and picking is resolved sometime. Next one is logo and letters. If logo and letters on our punch surface are very deep, and are very close they will result in picking so to overcome this issue try to use the logo and letters which are not very deep and there is a proper space between letters and logos next one is the 
weight variation weight variation is a very common defect which is observed during compression and in this our tablets do not lie within the specified weight limits so what are the reasons of weight variation first we will discuss the formulation related morphine if our formulation contain morphine it will result in flow issues and due to flow issues weight variation will be observed next one is the granule size if granule size is very large and our tablet weight is small then the dye filling will not be proper and weight variation will be observed so try to maintain a proper fine along with the granule or use a proper c for the granule size high moisture content if our formulation contain high moisture contents it will result in weight variation due to the rat holing what is rat holing we will discuss here the reasons and remedies of the rat holing the next one related to the compression machine are height of hopper base if we do not properly adjust the height of hopper base the flow of powder will not be proper so always adjust the height of your hopper base to improve the flow of powder from the hopper blockage of the feeder housing if any of the housing of feeder is blocked and flow of powder from this housing to dies is not uniform weight variation will be observed always observe and notice the housings and filling of the dies next one is the punch length variation if there is a variation in the length of our punches it will result in weight variation especially if there is variation in the length of lower punches so always inspect your punches after and before compression of the product next reason of weight variation is the striking of lower punches if our lower punches are stuck and they are not able to properly move so the dye filling will not be proper and weight variation will be observed feeding rate is not according to the compression machine speed if our feeding rate of powder granules to the dye is not according to the compression machine speed it will result in weight variation so adjust the feeding rate along with the compression machine speed friability problem the percentage weight loss is known as friability if you want to learn more about friability the link of video is given in the friability and friability related interview questions must watch the video percentage weight loss is known as friability and friability is a test during which our tablets break or edges are broken down what are the reasons and remedies of the friability the formulation related issues which may result in friability is the amount of binder less amount of binder may result in friability so try to increase the amount of binder if our granules are over dried it will also result in the friability always dry your granules according to the standards of your bmr next one is granule size if granule size is very large and no fine is available friability will be observed then try to reduce the granule size next one is the lubricant if amount of lubricant is very high or the mixing time with lubricant is very long then it will result in friability always use optimum concentration of lubricant and reduce the mixing time next one are the related to the machine higher compression machine pressure or higher hardness result in tablet friability reduce the hardness higher compression machine speed may result in the friability of the tablets reduce the compression machine speed next one is the low hardness hardness is very important for the tablet to gain its strength what are the reason due to which our required hardness is not achieved one is the higher moisture content and second one is the over drying of the granules do not confuse because it depends upon the formulation some formulation due to very excessive moisture lose their hardness mean we are not able to achieve the desired hardness if our moisture content is very high and most reason of the less hardness is the over dried granules so try to use optimum drying conditions for your granules or granulated product the next one is the less kneading time if your granules are not properly formed or kneading time is less or less solvent for binding is used your hardness will not be achieved so check your formulation kneading time and the amount of solvent oversized granules if granule size is very large and there is no fine powder for dye filling then the hardness will not be achieved 
if lubricant concentration is very high or mixing time is high it will result in low hardness how it will result in low hardness if you want to learn do mention the comment box i will record a separate video next one is the machine related issues higher compression machine speed and less dwell time result in the low hardness so adjust your machine settings accordingly next one is a double impression what is a double impression double impression is the tablet compression defect where the bosing or bisect line on the tablet surface is overlapped or it appear as double what are the reason it is due to the free movement of lower punches mean if your lower punches have bisect line or logo or monogram it will result in double impression if they are free to move always use keyed punches mean restrict the free movement of lower punches and the issue of double impression will be resolved rat holing what is the rat holing rat holing is a tablet compression defect basically it is related to the flow of powder from the hoppers and in this defect the powder adhere to the walls of the hopper and do not flow properly from the sides only powder flow from the middle and create a hole resembling the housing of rat that is why it is known as that is why it is known as rat holing it is due to the more fine due to more fine rat hole are formed so try to reduce the fine in your formulation more moisture content will also result in rat holing properly dry your formulation improper hopper base if hopper base is not adjusted properly as we discussed in weight variation defect then rat holing will be observed next one is lack of force feeding due to the lack of force feeding flow is not proper so use a force feeders next one is the black particles the black particles in our product may be present and it may relate to the formulation as well and to our machine as well what are the reasons of formulation the formulation related issue may be the higher moisture content if moisture content is very high the powder will stick to the turret and when it will peel off it will result in generation of the black particles feeder rubbing over the turret may also produce black particles and if excessive powder is accumulated below the feeder it will result in generation of black particle due to the friction the main reason of black particle is the lubrication burning mean if we do not properly lubricate our compression machine cams and punches the lubrication may dry and burn out and it will result in black particles so properly lubricate your machine on time next reason of black particle generation may also be the poor dust collection system so ensure a good dust collection system for compression machine if you like the video share it to others and subscribe my channel till the next video allah hafiz